Note the Volna box that's M87 was released on 6th of November and here is the down download instruction. I have already downloaded this and I have set, set this box on virtual box. The network configuration for that is host only adapter. Uh, even you can change that to uh, bridge network or so something which is efficient for you. Uh, looking at the description, it's uh, the title is M87 user 2. So I guess there should be two flag. The difficulty is easy and the hint is fuzzing. I completely agree with this this hint. If this, if this was not there, then I could not have completed this particular box. And create exported and there is some more description about the box. The contact information uh, person is on the hack the box. I, I really like hack the box. I will be streaming hack the box as well uh, soon. And the email is given, file information and the network is DHCP. So here we need to identify the IP currently we don't know what, what IP it is running. So uh, be, be, being said that stay tuned we'll be right back. So now to keep everything organized, I'm going to create a new directory called m 871 and let me open up a terminal here and let, there's a directory called vulnerable, uh, make it there and give cap so that it doesn't create two files called m 7 and 1. Uh, get into that m 7 and I'm going to use Tmux so that I can split my screen and do the work much faster. Uh, let me split it into four parts and now uh, the first step is to identify the IP uh, Depends on the person like you can go for net discover and map mask and, and whatever you want I'm going to use and map for ping probe on my network To identify what all IPs are listening or are live on the network and press 24 press enter and hopefully it would complete within a moment after that uh, our main target is to find all all the ip so that uh, we make sure there is no misleading or that like we are enumerating properly so currently it did top 1000 ports and it has 22 with ssh filtered so i'm not sure if it is open or not we'll check that as well we have port 80 and we have 1990 is geos admin so i, I guess this geos admin is a portal through which we can connect to the machine if you know the username and password so the machine it's not it's not that it connects to the same machine it can connect to remote machine as well uh, i'll add to that quickly but for now let's go and do a full and map scan uh, full port scan and here you, you see m87 local because i've added this host and entry in, in, in my host file uh, I, I can show it to you that as well uh, and this pen so etc host and host if you can see here i've added the volume address go back here for the full port scan let me zoom it a bit and press hyphen b uh, so my initial approach is to do the full port scan then i can i can go for the default script and uh, or go for a version detection so that this process is sequence uh, and just in case if you are on a network where you are connected to vpn or attacking external network trying trying to exploit that then i strongly recommend to go for top thousand port starter enumeration on those port and on the background run the full and map scan because full port scan is very time consuming so here we have ssh so let's 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 try for ssh here so ssh let's go for root at the red ip press enter and i think some kind of firewall or so, so something is blocking us uh, i'm not sure what uh, we, we would have done here so let's stop it and now let's move to the next enumeration that is for port 80 uh, i'm going to open in a browser and paste the ip once i paste the ip uh, i see a username and password now at this point of time uh, i suggest you go for again enumeration uh, via nikto that that is for a passive scanning so nikto hyphen h paste the ip press enter and it it is going to take some time and this box really consumes time 
to get a hint or to move forward here we will we'll get uh, not, not, uh, nothing useful so again the second step is to brute force the email and password we don't know anything so i don't do not suggest to brute force that the other party's forgot password doesn't work on the second tab let me create a new pen i, I could have run go buster here uh, let's let's do that as well iphone hyphen url paste it iphone user share word list enter buster directory listing 2.3 medium with i'll give the pro as 100 and i typed something wrong here let's press enter and uh, within few minutes we'll get a directory called as portal uh, till then let me go to a first pen and here, here we see that there is a directory called admin and the similar we'll, we'll get here as well now let's go here to admin and again uh, the, it's not visible but there is a field where it's ask for username and password let fail something random and it's passing on the get parameter instead of post and this was very time consuming even uh, we did the enumeration we found a file on admin and we found there is a backup area as well but no use we did brute force but nothing was working the hint here is uh, the index.php there is a pair even we did the fuzzing on as, as i said right uh, here mm, go here the hint it says fuzzing so we did fuzzing on this index.php and we found that there is a valid parameter called id and if i press id equals to give give single code we can see that there is a mysql error and i am pretty excited right now so let's copy this uh, open the terminal create a new pen and I'm going to run SQL map uh, on here. Let's, let me give one and I'll go for batch so that I don't have to type again and again. So it started running and hopefully within uh, some time we'll get the results. Once we confirm uh, we're able to access that, my main aim is to get into the system. If we initially saw uh, the SSH code was not there so ss is not the way and we will try from sql map to get to the server let's see if we can get that as well or not and it's working uh, by the time let me go back and pause this nikto or the go buster scan it might be creating a lot of noise there okay. it has a lady over nice it should work it's it's pretty fast the device might be want to skip yes and it is doing doing some kind of more test to identify the correct version and i guess it has identified the mysql server version is less than or equals to 5.0 okay and we have successfully found the mysql version or you have we have used uh, sql map to exploit this now the second thing i'm going to do is use os cell so if there is are uh, the directories inside the victim server the attacker server is writable then we we can get the shell on the system then let's see if we can get that but uh, as we see the warning uh, none of the directories were writable so that we the tool uploads it sql map automates everything it uploads the php shell uh, and gets a shell for us now we don't have anything so let's enumerate our database and see what all database do we have we have tv information schema mysql and performance schema i'm going to dump the db part here and then see what's inside that hyphen d for db and go for dump press enter it's yeah and we have extracted the information from here we have email we have username password now we can copy this and go back to the platform it was admin so let's paste this copy and log in here so not, mostly nothing happens so it's, it's just a troll to ourselves but what we are going to do is we're going to use the username and the password on the other platform if you remember correctly uh, 
here the one of the port that we found was 9000 and as i told this is a ui server to connect to the box so let's open that as well copy it go paste and 1990 paste it and here is asking for username and password uh, one thing to note here is the information that we extracted from sql map the username and password it won't work because this username are related to the database only it, we cannot confirm if it is for this login system as well or not now for that let's uh, read the file uh, we can use read file and read file works here because we have permission privilege to read any of the file and we're going to read the etc password to see what all users do we have and i think i did something wrong there is no file read uh, sorry so it's file read not read file and once now it has extracted that information the information is here copy it and let's see the content of that and we have the list let me filter it out uh, so that we get the users who has who are capable of logging into the platform no login and we have root sync it's carlot or i'm not sure how i'm pronouncing it so but this is a valid user which who, who can log in into the platform now let's copy it go back paste the user and when i uh, let's go here and did i miss nope I think I need to scroll up. I did here itself. Now, if you remember, we had a username and password as well. Now we can brute force using this password. I have done that previously. You, you can either use pop suit or you can use call command w first hydra and any, any of those to brute force to this this platform. We have a valid username. I have already done that. I'm not going to waste time on that. And one of the matched password is for the admin. So let's copy it go back paste it click on login and the server i'm here i'm using is m87 and i have successfully logged in into the server now uh, there are various functionalities for this particular platform i'm not interested on them what i'm interested right now is on the terminal now on this particular functionality i can run it's it's a simulation of like i'm already on the system so i press ls we have local.txt press that and we have our first flag congratulations to us now our main task is to escalate the privilege to the user for that we are uh, we have to enumerate the entire box for that i would suggest lean enum it's on github i type that incorrectly but you can clone this particular box get uh, sorry clone this particular script get so this is the script you can clone this particular script uh, transfer it to this box anyhow by netcat or python or from web server uh, by any means what you what you prefer do the enumeration and it would take some time analyzing the result but the one thing that you will notice is there is a binary called old uh, which old so it's user been old this uh, doesn't have set uid uh, sorry i tapped that wrong and it doesn't have set uid but what it has is that it has a capability to set the uid for that if i uh, type get cap and paste for this we can see that it has the capability to change the uid of the permission i'm going to use this particular vulnerability to escalate my privilege and this old is uh, if, if you guys know that or not but this old is python how do we confirm that paste it hyphen v and it's python and then all the information are published here even i can i could have gone for hyphen hyphen version uh, just by seeing this and uh, i think i'm pretty sure you guys can confirm that it's a python now uh, to escalate our privilege we need to import os and os and get set uid and the u root ui id is zero press enter and os now get this is shell executed by using os.system bin bash press enter and if you have noticed correctly i have become root from 
carloot carlote and we have become root quickly let's go to root alas and we can print proof.txt and we have finally pawned the box completely and i would like to end the demonstration here Ho hope you like the video thank you for watching this video if you learned something new today please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends for any doubts suggestion or advice kindly post it into the comment section i will make sure to reply to the comments also do not forget to subscribe to the channel this will encourage me to contribute more to infosec and cyber security community